Hello everybody, uh, I'm Ian Abernethy and in this video I want to talk about two of Funakoshi's forgotten, forgotten throws. So if you're into your pragmatic, holistic karate, you're probably familiar with the nine throws that Gichin Funakoshi shows in Karate Do Kyohan. Uh, these are often referred to as Funakoshi's forgotten throws or the nine forgotten throws, you know, because you know, no doubt the throwing fell out of favour within karate circles and as people are looking uh, back to the older version of the art, then a lot of people are picking up these nine throws, particularly, of course, Shotokan practitioners. Uh, but of course, they're not the only throws that Gichin Funakoshi shows, he does show others. So in this video, I want to look at two what I would call the forgotten forgotten throws okay uh, in particular we're going to look at uh, throat press and uh, cutting through or stepping through kick So the first one we're going to look at is uh, Furikiri. Uh, stepping through or stamping through kick. It's one of the leg techniques that Funakoshi describes in Renten Goshin Karate Jitsu. Uh, there's no photographs for it, there's just a description. So this is my recreation of what I think he's describing from, uh, the, from the book. Uh, the characters would directly translate as railroad crossing. Uh, and I think that's significant because the line of your feet and the line of the enemy's feet directly cut across one another. So let's have a look at our first forgotten, forgotten throw, uh, which is Furikiri. Stamping the foot, but there's only description, there's no photographs. And as far as I'm aware, this technique's not widely practiced. But Funakoshi says about stomping on the foot, obviously in practice we're just going to stand on it. And then he talks about driving the leg between the enemy's legs in order to get them to fall over. He mentions that this is particularly effective when applied with upper level techniques like Agiyuki. So this is me piecing together what I think is Funakoshi describing. So then he throws a punch and we're doing that slip, which is very common. Right? As I do that from there, I'm stepping forward. So I'm hoping to try and trap that foot as I do it. Once I've got that, I step through the, this leg through his legs. And my elbow here is against his chest, so I'm pushing with the elbow in that direction. So you've got this one as I'm stepping through here, step, 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 take him down, right? As we talked about, when you're practicing it, release the pressure on the foot, even just a little bit, as he falls. So it doesn't lose angle. So it's one more time from there, it's just here, step through and move through, right? Bang, make your way. It's a lovely little technique. Fancy, and maybe a bit difficult to pull off, but fun to practice. Uh is no deose or throat press. Now this is from Renten Goshin Karate Jitsu again. Uh, there's a photograph of this one being done which shows Funakoshi holding his partner's leg up in the air and hitting him in the throat. So most people look at the picture and assume he's catching a front kick. I don't really believe that's what he's doing though, uh, because it doesn't match the description, although the description isn't abundantly clear, uh, but it also doesn't match the photographs we find in the earlier version of the book. Now, not a lot of people know this, but there was an earlier edition. Uh, the, uh, in that earlier edition, all the cutter pictures were hand-drawn, but the, the throws were still photographs. Uh, now, this uh, version of the book was largely destroyed in an earthquake. The printing plant was destroyed, the plates were, lots of copies of the book, but fortunately, one or two copies did survive. Now, if you look at the photograph of the same throw in the book, it's different. It shows Funakoshi hitting the throat, but the enemy's legs are still on the ground. So, based on these two photographs and the, um, the description that Funakoshi gives, I believe he's hitting the throat in order to break balance and scoop the, scoop the leg. So this is the second forgotten, forgotten throw, and we'll now have a look at it uh, described and done. Uh, 
one we're doing is Throat Press, which is in Fulakoshi's first, uh, first book, which is often mis uh, mistaken as being a kick catch, but, but it, it most definitely is not, right? So we've got this, uh, the way Fulakoshi describes it, we've got the parrying, the arm coming through, so we're going to create the gap and the web of the hand strikes up into the throat. In practice, we'll just push on the chest, right? And the hit hit from there, that driving backwards will see his weight transfer towards his back foot. So I'm not lifting the leg, I'm just putting my hand down near the ankle as I continue to push and I'll bring it up to here. Fulakoshi then says, and then twist to throw him. So what we're assuming he means is this. Fling that leg before he up kicks you, give him a stamp and you're on your way, okay? So that way we'll just do it one more time and get us, right? So and you, you can run him out with it as well. Once you've got there, you just keep running him backwards so yeah, he runs out of space. Or you've got the turn, the swing, the stamp, the move, right? So I hope you found this look at some of the forgotten, forgotten throws interesting. So within Shotokan circles, you know, people often talk about the nine forgotten throws of Funakoshi or Shotokan's nine forgotten throws, but there's, there's more. There's, there's more within the canon of Shotokan, uh, more of these throwing techniques. And within karate in its wider sense, there's a lot more. You know, you look at the works of Mabuni and, and Itaman and others, there's, there's lots of throwing techniques in there. Old style karate was a very holistic art. And I think if we're going to do it justice in, in the modern day and to make it as fun and enjoyable to practice as possible, it's nice to look at this old stuff, you know, bring it back to practicing the uh, present day and practice karate as a more uh, holistic, forward-looking system it was always intended to be. Yes. So thanks for, for watching this video and uh, I'll be back with more soon.